All right, welcome everyone. This is Fucker, and I have the usual host with me today, uh, Ed Bobmanier. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so uh, season four, episode two. Uh, gonna cover what's happened in February, and we can jump right in. Um, nothing, nothing overarching has happened, but um, we do have some cool things to to mention. Uh, the Fire Red Thief Green Tournament for any percent glitch list is going to start soon. Uh, we have some links that we will link in chat. Yeah, it's right here. For signups sign and up. uh, the Discord. So if you're interested, join that. Signups close on the 22nd um, at midnight central time. So yeah. And uh, I guess the other thing is that um, Pokemon Legends ZA was announced. Uh, it's not coming this year, it's coming next year, but it's a it's looking like a Gen 6 remake um, in the Pokemon Legends style. So that'll be cool. It's on, mm -hmm. maybe on Switch. And that might be on like a, maybe like a Switch 2 because, you know, they, they did kind of rumor it that. So. Yeah, it's pretty far in advance. Next year. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, we don't have a dedicated focus topic for today. We're just gonna cover all the runs that have happened. So, yeah. Uh, we didn't have any Gen 1 to 3 runs to talk about. It seems to be kind of like a, a down month, but um, there's also less coverage in total because we did the last podcast um, a week after we were supposed to. But yeah, uh, that means that first one that we have it's a ds run it's Worcester's soul silver any percent glitch list record a 329 21 so he finally gets a 329 after actually a year after he got his last um he, after a year after he got his first 330 or 331 I, I think it was when after when uh he got the record back from like dexy so yeah, it took a year to get down to 329 from that. Um, this run is pretty pretty hard to beat uh, for his standards. Um, it's not perfect, but it is definitely... Um, it was definitely good enough for Worcester to finally stop running the category. Um, yeah, what I have highlighted here is like one of the only parts of the run that went poorly, which is... Uh, the Brock range seems to be his nemesis. Uh, he missed a 1360 on Kabutops and it kind of like bled about like 35 seconds because it forced him to heal um, before blue. He also got crit by the wrong side, so he took like more damage than usual for missing a range. Um, so yeah, if, if not for that Brock, uh, Brock missed range, then it would have been 328. Um, it does seem like 328 is uh, doable, but it would take, you know, a pretty insane run. Because um, in, in this run, like, not many things went wrong. The other two things that I could uh, recount that went wrong were um, just the Faulkner fight. I think he got double roost, which is like, uh, yeah, it's, it's not really a good start. Um, it's it's nothing to really reset over even at the 329 range and the other mishap is probably just the surge fight where he got thunder wave into double team into miss so that's uh that's really it there's i i i, I do know that he got um a low roll on jasmine which is one of the better fights that saves like a lot of time and on the red fight, he did, he did uh, end up criticaling Venusaur. Jasmine is um, wow. Yeah, Jasmine's on that Steelix right there. Yeah, Jasmine's a pretty make or break fight. It sounds like there was a like. Time yeah, there. the the way that Jasmine works is that, um, you kind of only have a few chances to get a fight that saves two turns. Um and. The way that you do that is either like getting a critical hit or you low roll the first shadow ball so that it doesn't trigger the citrus berry at half health 
or you get a Shadow Ball Spit F drop so that the second one kills even after proccing Citrus Berry. So in this fight, he gets uh, the Laurel into a good enough roll to kill it. So yeah, well. yeah, he got one of the conditions. Um, yeah, uh, it's, other than that, the, the run was like pretty clean. It's It has like pretty much every optimization that Worcester has thought of since um, starting to run this category again, which is a lot. And uh, it like all that information combined, like, you know, like Minipang um, past, uh, past the Raikou catch into Lighthouse uh, doing Canto Minips um, to get like uh, instant cans plus um, even faster Misty Gym movement. Uh, just the whole new uh, Raikou, Raikou Zero, that uh, and let's see the really good red fight most of the time, which he does get in this run. And um, yeah, I mean, all that just sort of added up. Um, it's stuff that nobody else is going for at the moment. So it's it's right now that as the record stands, only Worcester can like really compete for it unless this information like. Uh, is like released which yeah we don't we don't plan on you know really bugging him for that but <laughs> yeah I, I, he, he's sort of in his own league he has been for a while but now he's, it's like actually cemented he's put in a massive amount of work over the last year in terms of finding you know identifiers and just like new optimizations here and there um for the route he's been basically like the one who's been taking on this route entirely on his own for the most part yeah, it, like goes above and beyond to like actually like really make sure that every stone is left unturned for this category. Yeah, like yeah. He, he really just pushed the limits of everything, almost everything that you can think of has been implemented into this category. So it's really nice to see all that in one run. So yeah, congrats to him. Yeah, like we can actually start seeing other things from Worcester. Um, this is another DS run that we have here. This is Purple Saki, which is... Um, Purple Saki is a Japanese runner, actually, but has only played Diamond and Pearl. Uh, he has times in both N% and Glitchless in JPN, and looks like he's doing English at the moment for a good Glitchless time. And uh, he actually got third place here uh, with a 344.02. Uh, he hit this optional here. It's only one poke, so it's not terrible. But yeah, it, you can imagine that this run could be like easily second place without this optional. Um, because he's only like what five seconds behind second place with this run. And what's funny is that with this run now, um, there is like a. 12 second range on the leaderboard between second and fifth place that are all just like very close to each other for um for dp glitchless it's kind of funny to look at and then like record is just like two minutes faster than all those runs <laughs> um i know scoa did have like a a record pace run that was like maybe a minute ahead of record but um i think he realized in e4 that like he was missing an elixir or something so he couldn't finish the run mm. but yeah it's where dp glitchless stands right now it's kind of weird um i can't even lie but purple psyche does look like a new contender for a record um he didn't have the best start either to this run so yeah uh, only three fire blast misses though so that's not not like he had a terrible luck with that uh, he also lost three turns on Bertha because Quagsire can be very troll. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much the gist of the run. It's good, but not amazing. It's got room for improvement. And uh, I think Saki has good times in JPN, so we probably could expect to see better times from him in the future. And one last thing to note about DP. Um, is that once again, uh, undo seed might be 
might be in the works. Uh, I know March has sort of mentioned here and there that uh, Diamond Glitchless might be getting a better seed soon. Um, I don't really know what the benefits are, but until a run of that has been done with the new seed, then I don't really have the knowledge to comment on that much further. But yeah, could be getting a new seed for DP Glitchless, which is a little exciting. We haven't gotten much uh, of anything new here in a while, so nice to see. And uh, one last run of uh, DS runs here. We have March. Um, he got a Platinum Any% percent world record. Um, Platinum Any% percent is kind of in this transitional phase here where um, we're switching over to the solo Golduck run or, or route um, with the Rourke Battle Minute implemented. Um, the reason why Golduck is better is because it's just like more consistent than the Tentacruel. Um, like, all the other fights that Tentacruel does, it, it doesn't have to manip a Tentacruel. It's basically out uh, weighing how well Golik forms. It, because, like, Golik is a slower main itself, just from all the fights, but um, that time loss between Golik and Tentacruel is not... It's not... Um, it, it, it makes it worth it to do Golik because of the a whole minute that Tenacruel requires with the save and quit is uh, it's just too much. Um, so yeah, it seems like this this route can get a uh, like a two thirty six at least. Um, it was able to before, but Golik seems like the the better play here with better consistency because all, really all he has to do is um, get the Golik catch, which is non minutes because you're not save and quitting. Um, but yeah, that, that it was already in the run. Uh, it was still a Golduck 2 Tentacruel, so you're still, you know, yellow balling Golduck. But now you don't have to do any minips beside um, the Rook Minip. So yeah, uh, you could probably expect a 236 on the horizon. Uh, I know March is still currently running, uh, this because this world record is only a 237.54. Which barely gets record. Um, it got record by like 16 seconds. Uh, but it it kind of showed that um, Goldig is just easily able to beat older renditions of the route. And it should be uh, fairly easy to get once you actually like grind runs for, you know, getting past Golduck. Because the catch is just the, the main part that's, um, you know, the, the catch is like, has always been there, but it's now the hardest part of the run, which is like it makes it so much easier for March and other runners to get like 237, 236 pace runs. Um, and I also know that Worcester is doing this category now as well with uh, the same seed. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's going to be cool to see that battle. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, Golduck is like Part of the reason why Golduck is faster than Tentacruel is because, um, or or why the why the difference in Golduck and Tentacruel is not that big is because Golduck has like a shorter like battle animation when it comes out because in Pokemon Platinum, even though you disable battle animations, you still like get that little like Pokemon animation when it comes out of the Pokeball. So that's it, it's kind of it's kind of like uh. The whole thing in Pokemon Black, the switch from Tepic to Lillipup because the battle animation of when it comes out is like shorter. That's I just found that funny. Part of the reason why Goldick is like better. Funny that also exists in uh in Sword Shield. Candy Floss has a much longer animation when it comes out than any other main that you can run. So you lose like over a second every time you send it out. So if, if that if that wasn't the case, then Candy Floss would just be the the best main by a, a mile. Oh, I didn't know that. Fact. So like Candy Floss is like slower because of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, like floats down or something. Yeah. Not sure exactly why that is. Whether it's like a trade thing or like the poke itself, but 
little known fact, I think, across the community. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, let's move on to the switch. And uh, we have Amber in the chat, actually. Uh, they got a... Uh, any, let's go Pikachu any percent no mount skips in three hours flat. So not quite the sub three, unfortunately. I'm sure they're going to be working on that further. Moving forward, um, I'm not super familiar with how this went, but it seemed to be pretty good. Um, not too many breakouts. Also, I'd run you see a uh, rare char here. That's something you typically get in a any percent NMS run, but. If you need the uh, the catch, then you take it. Yeah, I think I, I watched through this run um, for the most part, just because I was like, you know, curious about it. Um, it seemed it was like a pretty standard run, um, like a couple mistakes here and there that that'll happen, obviously. Um, you know, just like you know, solid run throughout. Good star me got you know some of the more important things. Ooh, uh, they they're mentioning Ted. Let's find Ted. Paralyzed on Ted, that's kind of cringe. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I recall this now, yeah. And forgot to bet heal, yeah, that would be. Blade was kind of rough. Yeah, so this fight is kind of your first fight you do with Starmie, and he he's packing an Electrode, which is faster than you, so you ideally. Either your second Mon gets hit. Some people use Dodrio in slot 2, and sometimes the Electrode attacks that. But in this case, Amber got a Amber Starmie got attacked and got paralyzed. Um, in most in most cases too, if you just get attacked and you get crit, you just outright die. And that yeah, that too. <laughs> Which is just like really fast. <laughs> yeah, so you have to use one of those full heal up style items there. Yeah. But I'm a bit unfortunate. I still think it's a little funny how you still outspeed Muck. Because, like, it still <laughs> calculates with paralyzed speed. Yeah, we were talking about game. that, whether that was, oh, like, yeah. a thing in this game, but it seems like it is, where it doesn't actually update your speed until the next next turn. Yeah, because I know that when you want to outspeed something, you want to X speed before it comes out not on the turn, like if you're doing a 2C fight. So that's why on the Viridian rival fight, you would X-Speed. Um, the Jolteon will never come out second in the case of Let's Go Pikachu, because that's I'm talking about that because that's the version I run. But you would never um, you would never X, you would always X-Speed turn 2 because Jolteon can only come out turn 3 or turn 4. Uh, if you X-Speed when the Jolteon's out, you don't outspeed it because of the way the speed updates. And I think that was, was Let's Go the last game to have this. It was just fixed in Sword Shield, right? I'm not sure. Because, I, I mean, I know I know in Sword Shield you can XP the same turn, and you'll get the speed update right away. But I don't know how that affects, like, Paralysis, for example. Hmm, I don't yeah, know if they're, like, the same thing. I think Paralysis is just, like, the same kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. mechanic. So, yeah, I think it's that makes sense. Gen 8. But yeah, this is uh, this is second place actually. I forgot to mention uh, on the Pikachu side. Obviously, um, Echi has the record in both versions. Um, I think he has a two fifty. Does he have a two fifty eight in NMS? Or am I think. Am I think eight is an EV, and then nine in, in Pika. He's currently working okay. on Pika NMS yeah. as we speak. Yeah, we're not as we speak, but like really playing. I couldn't remember if, which one was the mount if, if the mount skips were that or if it was the. But no, he was. I know he was sub three for both. But yeah, definitely so. keep keep an eye out for Amber. She can definitely put up some really good times. Yep. Absolutely. Congrats to them on that. Let's move on to Sword and Shield. All right, I'll talk about this one. Um, so this is A. Pierre Joe's new any percent no turbo sword world record for English. Uh, by one second beating Jordan's Sobble Run. Um, featured here getting an encounter, uh, which the, the section stuff, but um, I think this is the first um, 
maybe I could be wrong on this, but I think it might be the first English any percent world record to have candy floss that wasn't from Ringo, I think. Um, which is really exciting. Aprijo has been on the map for quite a lot, so it's really nice to see him get a get a world record like this. Um, he's been on some really good paces over the last like month or so. He's been on like four or five paces and, and such. Um, I mean, this run probably would have been bordering on four or five if he didn't get that encounter. Um, but yeah, Japanese runners I've noticed tend to prefer using candy floss. It's a very consistent route. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, um, there's that lag, so it like actually like kind of tops you out from getting like a like insane insane time. But candy floss for the most part, there isn't a lot of luck involved. Most of the luck is like kind of in the beginning of the run. So once you get in a run, it's kind of just like a skill check in terms of like you know mashing, menuing, move selection, how fast you do all that. Um, so a lot of Japanese runners get to do it and. Um, APJ put up a, a great time. I, there's really like nothing horrible that happens after like the Milo split. His Milo split is like fine. So yeah, very solid run for APJ. I'm going to rest him on record. Yeah. Candy Floss back on top, as it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I know if Jordan's out there, he'll you will be disagreeing very much. Can't make jokes that. like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back to this at some point, but <laughs> this uh, this game. Anyway, um, with that, we'll move on to a Scarlet Violet time. This is a familiar face if you were on watched last week's podcast or last month's podcast. This is Watame's uh, improving their Scarlet Starfall Street uh, English World Record. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was beaten by. Uh, I think it's 20 seconds. Okay. 20, 21, something like that. Yeah. And from what we can tell, he got poisoned in his previous run. So you have to set up once on the muck on Atticus here. And if you get poisoned, you lose 20 seconds or so. So, uh, didn't get poisoned here. And then, um... Otherwise, it was pretty consistent with the previous run, as well, uh, aside from that time save. So, ended up saving uh, a decent amount of time. Yeah. Pretty big swing uh, in a category as short as this, for sure. Yeah, and then as far as we and, and I believe, yeah, I believe again, it's the same sort of um, party as uh, as his previous run, where he had a Corbinite and Lechonk as his second and third, as opposed to Luxray and Winkalone. Which is, uh, very interesting. But, uh... Yeah, you'll see, you'll see here he saves, like, what, 20-ish seconds? Which is, like, huge. Yeah. It could also be just the barrage went a bit better too, but I'm not too sure. But definitely getting poison saves a decent chunk. So it's good oh, to yeah. see. See some activity still in this game. It's kind of died down a little bit, but mm -hmm. there are swings with various the various games, so we might see more activity in the future. Who knows? All right, we'll uh, move on to the stadium side, and we have uh, Worcester back again with another record. Yeah, this time in on the stadium switch uh, version. Gym Leader Castle round one in sub 1 hour 30. 128.56. Yeah, I think this is record by like two minutes. Or maybe more. Um... I think the old record was 131 on the Switch, so I think it's like a, yeah, two and a half minutes or so. Uh, this run was just like pretty much good throughout, I think. Um, yeah. The thing about uh, fights in this game is just like, you don't ever really expect them to go like actually well. Um, you see here he has Nido King out, which you don't actually always do. It's like a top end strat. Um, but he... He hits a horn drill and the executor which saves like a lot of time. There's like a lot of swing on, on champ. 
Um, yeah, I mean, you can you can also horn draw this, but I think he just wants to, to lock in this time. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not a lot of runners who have, like, run the Switch category. It's pretty much just um, Worcester. I, I've run it. Um, there's been a couple, like, maybe two or three other runners of the Switch category. Um, since it was released for the uh, Virtual Console. Um, yeah, this is, like, still a pretty big jump nonetheless, and I can definitely say for sure that it was a, a solid run. Not, not like the run was, like, you know, just a free world record or anything. But yeah, congrats to him. Yep. Yeah. I guess. I believe it's... Is it sub-130 on the... on the N64 or no? N64 um, record is 132. Okay, yeah. so it's a bit faster on the Switch. It's probably about... I think it's like 6 or 7 minutes faster on the Switch. Um, yeah, wing markets run on N64 is ridiculous. So like, I mean, like if you you could definitely grind for like a probably like a 125, 126 on okay. on the Switch, probably is where it tops out. Yep. All right, we got um, a few honorable mentions. I don't know if we want to bring them up real quick. I do see some timestamps here. I just put them in them because I was like, okay. You know. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll just I'll just find the uh, I'll just find them on the list here. So first up, we have yeah, for yeah, Fire yeah. Leaf Green, uh, Manipulus glitched. We have Ananan with a one eighteen forty. Um, this is very notable because um, the any percent Manipped record is only seventeen seconds. It's faster. Um, so this is uh, quite uh, quite a good time, quite a good run by Ann. Uh, he's done quite a lot of work with this uh, with this category so far. Um, so yeah, we look at the glitch, 118.40. Oh wait, hold on. Did I do this? Yeah, 118.40, well, that's Manipolis, and then... Yeah, comparing to any percent. Yeah, and, and the reason why it's, like, this close is honestly because, um, you know, just in the yeah, fire release screen, like, like, if you get a good Squirtle anyway, then it's, like, you kind of just... You just do the regular you're, route. You're just on, yeah, you're just on minute route. And the, the Squirtle that Ananan got was pretty cracked for uh, Manipla standards. It's, like, almost um, a Manipped Squirtle. It's, like, I think it was, like, a mild or 25 special, and like... Other, yeah, other that's pretty close. Good. Yeah, it's... yeah, we can try to see if we can find it here. Um, yeah, and you don't use the Squirtle as much. So if there's a Manipolis like glitch list category as well, like you'd use Squirtle for the whole run, like you would for. Um, just pull it up here; it's a little bit easier to see. Um, but yeah, you don't use the Squirtle as much. You only use it until like SSN, so it's pretty clean. Yeah, so we see, I don't know if you can see it on, yeah, we can just barely see it on the stream here. I had to crop things a little bit, but yeah, mild with 25 special attack and 22 speeds. The speed is kind of, for a glitchless run, that's kind of the minimum you'd run. And that's for glitchless. I'm not sure if you have a little, the restrictions are a little bit more lax on the glitch on the glitch side. And then the special attack, it's not perfect, but 25 IV is solid and everything else looks really good as well, so. Uh, Very yeah. good stuff. Yep. And this, the category, the uh, any percent manipulus was kind of started in the same month too, um, with Worcester doing a run. Um, yep. I think he's true. planning on submitting that to an Australian marathon soon. So, yeah, it kind of started there, and then I don't know. Was like, all right, might as well do a run of this, and then he got. Okay. Yeah. Very good time, pretty fast. That's how that went down. Yep. Um, we have. We don't have a video for this one, but we have. I can. I can pull up the leaderboard. Lots I can find the timestamp in time, but yeah, TTS is. Yep. Let me just. Don't like how. The. Uh, 
SRC is now, so it's black, yeah, black, white, one, any percent. They're replaced by TTS. Yep, uh, 3.11.27. Uh, this run is honestly, um, like, mid 3.10 pace. Um, he lost a lot of time because he forgot that uh, Eden's carry cost ahead. Aqua Jet, so he took a death there, which cost oh, yeah. it like around a minute. So yeah, like th this whole run, he was like ahead of uh, my second place run. So he is, it's like maybe he's closing in on the 310 or 309 territory pretty fast. As expected, he's a, I think he's a better runner than me than Jet 5, so this was all expected. Oh. Yeah, just on the okay. setup here. It's like you take um take a couple hits and then Reversal's fun. So he just he just goes. Yeah, when he yep. should heal here. Yep. That'll happen. <laughs> Unfortunate. He still like hasn't been playing this game for like a terribly long time either. He's like spent most of his time in black and white too, and Recently right. picked up this game. Already got a yeah. time this great. This is Put, really putting in the time to get good at this game, though. I will say, just yeah, doing a lot sure. of doing a lot of runs and practicing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So congrats. We had to uh, TTS for that one. We have another noted run. We have um, truly with shield any percent no turbo, uh, third place with a four ten twenty three. Uh, did either of you get a chance to catch any of that? I know Truly's been running this fair amount recently. Uh, yeah, I think... I, I don't remember exactly. I, I remember his, his Excadrill and his Arcanine were both really bad. Like, they're both minus attack, I think. Um, so he passively lost time to that. Min like, minus attack loses. Although, to be fair, on his Excadrill, the rest of his stats were, like, pretty okay. So it didn't actually matter all that much. Um, right, the Excadrill is cut off here, but it's uh, it's modest. <laughs> it's modest and it has like like decent IVs in most yeah, of the things. The, the, the attack is the attack IV is high. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he, he passively loses time on on both Arcanine and Excadrill to that, but his, his Excadrill is also uh, max level. Um. So that helps quite a bit with some of the ranges. Um. Yeah, I, I would say that. Uh, I think truly, it truly did tell me that he wants to improve this, but um, I do know that he's working on learning PLA right now. Um, so I, I don't exactly know what he's going to do next, um, but I, I definitely know that he wants to improve this at some point. But yeah, he's in, he's awesome. running this for a little while, so that's cool to see him get a, a time like this. Yep, congrats to truly. Uh, we have next notable well, next honorable mention. We have Primal Pizza with a yellow, any percent glitchless time, one fifty four forty six. It is sixth place on the leaderboard, but it is uh, sub one fifty five. And there's actually quite a few of those, uh, quite a lot a lot of activity in the sub fifty one fifty five uh, range here, and uh, best time in the category in quite a few in a couple of years actually since I guess Poke Guy's record. So, yeah, it's always nice to see yellow. Um, not as much activity in yellow as in red, but uh, yeah, just a good time regardless. Yellow five four is great. Yep. And then finally, we have uh, Martin scores easy, um, known for um, Pokemon Snap, but also dabbles in red. As well, and uh, got a 147.22. Um, which is a very good time. It's 22nd on the leaderboard, but there's a lot of really good runners. Um, and um, definitely a good a good time uh, in this game for sure. So uh, congrats to him on that red, one. Red Glitch is probably like the most competitive category. So like even though this time is like pretty solid, it may not necessarily look like it. Yeah. Thousand, at least a thousand runs on this board, I think. Let's let's check. Five sixty-three. Never mind. I'm 
Yeah. <laughs> Making that up. That's still very good, though. <laughs> All right, we have... Um, is there a link for this one? Yeah, there is. Okay. We are going to point out a uh, marathon run coming up. Or has it already happened? I don't remember. It's next weekend. It's next weekend, okay. We have Gamers Against Cancer. We have Toro Knight running Pokemon TCG any percent glitchless and any percent hard mode. And that will be on the 9th of March. There's, Yeah, there's two runs here. So the 9th of March at 7.23 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that'll be the glitchless one. Um, and then we have uh, any percent hard mode at 7 a.m. the next morning. Um, and because we're all on Eastern time, we're going to tell you all these times in Eastern and not British time. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about it for for today's show. I know we don't. It's a bit of a shorter one today. Um, we did do last week's show a little bit later, just because we were trying to get everything all up and running, but we should be back to business um, um, with a full uh, four weeks worth of of uh, runs to go through uh, on the 6th of April. That's the... Uh, that will be the plan for the next, next episode. Um, as always, um, make sure you follow the... I was just about to copy the host's one, but... Make sure you, f or the guests one, but we don't have any guests. So make sure you follow the podcast hosts, hosts, myself, Head Bob, and Tucker. Yep. And, and um, um, oh, one, one more thing. We oh yeah, go for it. Recently, get access to our Twitter again. So. All oh, right. No time better than now to promote that a little bit. We are going to post before we do every podcast. So, yeah, there you go. Hopefully we can get a guest on for you guys next month. Talk about something. Yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're kind of still kind of feeling things out, I guess, because we've had a, quite a bit of turnover on the on the host team. So yeah, um, yeah. We should, we're, we're hopefully going to be uh, kind of getting things back to where they the way they were before, more or less, uh, by next month. So uh, bear with us. <laughs> but uh, unless you guys have anything else, uh, I think that's, that's kind of it from... For me, yeah, that's. I think I'm good. Yeah. We have today. Yeah, so a nice, a nice quick show uh, for you guys today. Uh, make sure you uh, follow the channel if you haven't already, uh, so you know when we're live next. And uh, we'll see you all uh, next month. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. -bye.